How's everyone doing? Oh, oh. There we go. Um. We're going to continue. I think I have to do this entire dungeon again. I remember... Um... For Costal Mark. Because, like, I got to the end, and then suddenly I hit, like... Um... Some teleporter pad that took me, like, to the entrance. And then there was another teleporter pad. I'm like, will this take me back? And then it just, like, dr threw me out of the dungeon. And I'm assuming I'm gonna just and it's it was basically just like a gauntlet. So I'm assuming I'm just gonna have to do that all over again. It was good XP. So it's not the worst. And I have like all their weaknesses among my weapons, so. Eh? Eh? Today is also the day where I'm going to judge whether or not I'm going to keep playing after today. Because I was starting up the game, and I'm like, I bought Wilson, and I've been playing Wilson, and I'm like, I kind of just want to keep playing Wilson. <laughs> as opposed to this. I have to, like, I have to wait till night as well. Alright, there is a camp right over here, so let's just do that. Also... Yeah, I got a good chunk of XP just getting to the bottom, so I'll get another good chunk doing it again. Um, I'm just gonna, just gonna, if I can remember controls, call me a chookaboo. Why does whistles have to be like two away from the regular items? Easy now. I was going to say, the jump isn't always that slow. Oh, I'm just <laughs> completely passing it. You reckon Marinea has a boyfriend? She is surrounded by guys, but who knows? Why? You fancy her? No. <laughs> My interest is purely hypothetical. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I mean, I might be able to just teleport back down to the other pad. Like, maybe there was, like, a different pad. Let's do this! Ugh. Right. <sighs> See you, Slowpoke. Thanks for the ride. Ah, <sighs> thanks, buddy. <sighs> um. Okay, hold on. I feel like there was only one enemy in there that was using, that was like weak to shields. Everything else is light stuff. I want to get some magic. Let's just throw that on. Like, I remember it took me here. Is there no way to like go back down? It's weird that it's just like a one way teleport that just teleports you as soon as you get near it. There's no like button to use the warp. So if you just accidentally run over it, you're kind of just like, hey, well, you're screwed now. So, how do I get faith. this? I believe. It'll be worth the risk. Oh. Huh. 
How sure are we about this? Take it one step at a time. These way too. Like we're good to go. Uh, what do you mean by good? I feel like I have Thieves Way 1. Greatly reduces MP cost when phasing. Th is this ever an issue? I've never... Like, maybe I I've run out of MP when using the ring. I've never run out of MP. Maybe once. I've run out of MP. Like, if there's no place to point warp, then sure, but there's almost always a place to point warp. Uh, let's just start. I'm pretty sure I have the first one, though. I would like to say, I have a lot. Oh, yeah, I do. I was going to say, I have a lot of accessories I don't really need. I believe that would be for Noct to decide. I would love it if I just found like a warp tile that took me back down, but I don't I don't see it happening. This may just be a long run. I remember there being fights here. I wonder if this is true for all dungeons. Like, you can only clear them once? I guess if I use the whistle, enemies would reappear. But... Granted, I've never, like, revisited a dungeon. Where's the door? Sidetracked for nothing. I say we keep moving. All right. I assumed we were gonna have to just like everything was was gonna respawn and we're gonna have to refight everything, but apparently not. Okay. I spoke too soon, maybe. Maybe. go down why did my max go down that's just rude nah, I won't bother going for the magic specifically huh I may as well use um, an elixir though Pretty much exactly half health. I guess that was just a fight that I somehow missed. Hey, the mad calls us. How you doing? Yeah, today on corridors, we explore more of them. 
I mean, we're getting, we're gonna finish this faster than I thought. So, can't complain that much. This dungeon's not that long if you're just running through it. Like, we're almost there, I think. I don't remember which way I went last time, though. Oh, wait, that's the one that took me out. Yeah, I'm not touching that. Alright. Yeah, no, 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 because I came up this way. Can I use any of these? That new Wizardry PC port on the PS3 Wizardry game that was released around eight years ago. The game is fucking hard, even for a hardcore dungeon crawler. Which Wizardry is this? I have never played. I don't think I've ever actually played a Wizardry game. I have a few of them. I think I have like six, seven, and eight, and I've never, I haven't played any. Labyrinths of Souls. Is that a subtitle to one of the numbers, or is it just like Wizardry Labyrinth, Labyrinth of Souls? I assume they are very hard. They're definitely like old school. Seven eight is just super cool in general. That's cool. That's good to know. Because I always think about, I think about replaying like uh, Legend of Grimrock. Because I love those games, but I feel like I might remember too many puzzles or anything. It's like half of it was the fun of like the exploration of the puzzles. I can su sure. Let's do it. Which someone are we getting? All right. And here I, I, I thought it would be Titan, but you know, we are right next to like Rama's thing. There was one enemy left. I was a half dead, and I was like, you know what? Let's just do it. Why not? Is the storm ready to rage? What is that? Say when. Does he have? Does he have a Kieran staff? Because that was definitely a horse head. The main line was the game ended with eight, two, one. Everything else since then are spin-offs, quote unquote. Okay. I feel like I went this way last time. Where's Gladio? What the fuck happened to him? Can't see. I, I just heard Gladio, but I don't see him. He, he's definitely stuck above us. Oh, 
I was blocking. Say your prayers. Yourself, no. I know. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if you heard at the beginning of the stream, Mad Cultist. But today is the day I decide whether or not to continue this or move on to second chapter. The time is nigh for more trails in the sky. It's really just a question of when. Do I like this game? I've enjoyed it enough to play it through. Um... When I think about playing it, I'm like, eh. But then when I'm actually playing it, I do I do just like, I'm enjoying it enough that I'm happy to keep going. Yeah. Wind button. Let's go, fellas. Ready. I mean, Gladio, do it. It mostly killed him. I think this is why I have the shield equip for this dude. Just gonna use some magic. Nah. Okay, so and then I want to just flop onto a hotel bed. <sighs> Cannonball. Right, and then I found that door. I'm like, okay, we're near the end. And then I For me. Can't, this I'm went back up. Tonight. And then I hit the tile, and then that was the end of last stream. Tempa Tempa. Huh? So I think it meant that I went the wrong way <sighs> initially. Think. Yeah, because this slowly goes up. This game is odd. There's a lot of bits of it that are great, and there's a lot of bits of it that are terrible. So it just like it all just kind of like evens out to mediocre. Like this, for example. This is awful. Why am I slowly sitting here? Also, I feel like the game is louder than it used to be. I'm gonna turn it down a little bit. Also, I couldn't move that, that entire time. Could have been for atmosphere, but the atmosphere is just an aesthetic brick wall. Yeah, there's a lot of things we've done for atmosphere, which has been like, huh. attempted. I'll say, like, they always try to make these places, like, dark and spooky. Uh, which tile did I go down originally? I think it was this one. Wah! So let's go down this one. What? Uh, 
Can I go down one of these? I don't think I went down this one before. I also swear I've walked over this several times and not seen the the proceed prompt. Played any SMT or Persona? I've never played Persona. The exit sealed off. We can unseal it, right, Not. I've, uh, I've been interested to, but I've never actually done it. SMT. Don't know what that stands for. Trying to think. Oh, Shin Megami Tensei. Uh, I've not played any of those, no. I've definitely watched some streams of them, though. Persona 5 Royale coming out soon. I could give it a try. But then that eats into the whole uh, Trails in the Sky uh, plan. Let's kill this gelatin first. I do love the soundtrack to Persona 5. It's so good. Let's do this. Right. Careful. Don't let him get you. Can I armor her or no? I feel like it needs to be like glowing, glowing. There's no true rush to do trails, or at least since uh, Hajime no Kaseki's announced Cold Steel 4 wouldn't be localized at least until the next year. The earliest could always do SE, maybe third, and then Royal, depending on how fast you finish the trail stuff. Potentially. My current plan is uh, second chapter next. And then I still have Cross Code waiting. And then I'll say you're doing third chapter after that. Um. Could throw Persona 5 in there somewhere. It's hard to say. I feel like I should like make a schedule and like post it and be like, this is my plan. And then the plan is subject to change. Um I could do that. Second chapter is definitely next though, because I do just want to play it. I'm going after this one flaunt specifically. I feel like if anything, I would want to do the Trails in the Sky trilogy like uh, more together than apart, so I can like. Experiencing and actually just like remember all the details of that story all at once. Well, this is ass. Uh, and the game is like unable to process what is happening here. Uh, I forget what they're weak to, but I'll just throw this one out. Yeah. Here's like, 
I'm waiting on Crosscode until next year because I want to wait until all go. the door story goes to released and see if I want them. Just get the more organic pushing experience out of the whole package. That's fair. I know nothing. I haven't looked into any like crosscode DLC. So I don't know what's what's going on there. See, so we're still talking about Sky stuff. Maybe any close to the three and four because it's one story. I might as well just play them all back to back. Maybe, but it's like. I'm assuming like. I haven't looked at it, into it at all. Like a lot of like the, the main characters and stuff at least are different between uh, Sky and Steel. So okay, I'm just gonna mark it. Can you just dance around too much. It's supposed to be two more stories DLC. I may have to look into that then. Because I am the same way. When it comes to DLC, I actually may I actually like had like um, Right at the end of the stream yesterday I made this whole like DLC like uh, spiel. About how I end up not liking DLC even if it's good. Because it's it feels separate. Like, the only DLCs that I didn't feel that way were, like, in, like, uh, Dark Souls and Hollow Knight. Pretty sure it's shields. And so, like, the fact that it feels separate and doesn't really, like, give you direct progression with the main game, it always feels like a waste of time to me. So I end up not playing a lot of DLCs as a result. Cold Steel marks in at 48 playable characters. Of a total of 64 major hero character count. Okay, so they went whole hog on playable characters in Steel is what I'm what I'm gathering. Yeah, that's that's we could end right there. I also didn't actually look at. Oh, wait, no, 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 he's just resistant to everything. Okay. So it doesn't matter. Just use Royal Arm. Is there a thing? No? Okay. On your mark, not catching. Uh -huh. Hey, hey, on your mark, uh -huh. I hit the button. Wow, the, the frames are not happy today. I'll say that. I has I've had some days where like I just realized why the frames are not happy today. I forgot to forgot to do this. I was gonna say I have some days where it runs great. And it's like it feels random. There we go. Should be a little bit better. Considering trails have two or three more arcs after Hedgemay, at least we are really going to get 100 playable characters at the end. Did I miss the counter? God damn it. Okay, this is um, This is a Mega Lexer moment. Tubar came, it's mentioned it's magic transition to the story from the west side of Samaria to the east side. 
I see. Hey, instructions. Shame the warp chain thing fucking triggered when he had like two HP left. I'm in the exact same. Go I'm in the exact same room. Sounds like someone's in a good mood. Basking in our hard fought victory, I presume. Is there like a door I'm missing? Are there three ways down? Oh my god. Do I just have to do them all in succession or something? Or maybe the elevator will take me down this time? <sighs> Alright, let's just check this again. Okay. So first time I came from there, second time I came from here. Alright, I'm just gonna take that elevator again. Hopefully it takes me down. <laughs> Code Vein is actually in the same universe as God Eater. It is? What the fuck? I've only played the first God Eater. Good game. I do have God, e God Eater too. But, yeah. That's interesting. It's very interesting. I don't have time for all these games. Problem. I'd have to be like full time streamer boy to make room for everything. Well, that's like forever a ways off, if ever. Can I like hit one of these? Yeah, I'm avoiding the fuck out of that thing. Is it just this? I get the sense it's just this. Maybe I do just have to do this like multiple times. Yeah, because I could not press this button before. I just have to do this multiple times. DSP day in my ass for three hours straight. It did get pretty hard at the end.
I do remember the main thing I didn't like, and that drove me insane when playing God Eater, was um, the guns were so fucking loud. And I just played it like solo with AI partners, and I avoided anyone that used um, like the Gatling gun because it's just like constantly in your ear. It was so fucking loud. I was like, I, I hate this. So I never used guns in that game. I was like, I'm melee only because I don't want to have to hear the goddamn fucking gun. Unless I'm the one shooting once in a while. That was the only thing that bothered me in that game. Did I have to turn the sound effects lower? I, I, I remember looking, I don't think there was like separate audio sliders. There was just like a general, like master slider. But I couldn't specifically like turn down. Uh, the sound effects. If I could have, I would have. I, I definitely would have looked. It was weird because it was so much louder than everything else. It was constantly blasting my ears off. And I think one of the main characters, like Coda or something, like the other recruit that he's like happy go lucky. He's like a newbie like you. He used that gun. And so there were a lot of missions where like you had to take him with you. And just every time I had to take him with me, I was like uh... It was it was grating on the ear as well. Swords. Oh whatever, I'm using the spear. Yeah, I got yeah, I avoided Coda as much as possible. The snipers were fine. Because it wasn't like constant rattling. It was the ones that used like the closer range guns. Like Coda. Oh yeah. What about the Russian chick? I don't remember, so I probably didn't avoid. remember which one's the Russian. I was more or less fine with all the characters. It was just the fact that Cody uses that fucking gun. Let's clean them up quick. Oh, the one that... Oh, yeah, no, no, she was fine. She used Blade more often than not. She was actually pretty useful as well, so... Yeah, she was like the other special one like me that like, can switch and do both. Pretty much just Coda. There were a few other like like non-story related people in your squad that would use the same gun as Coda and I just didn't use them. Allow me. I'll say I'm amazed. What can I say? Okay, well. Clearly, I want to go this way. Can I choose both? Oh, I just locked myself into a path. All right. Can't move. I have no control. I just went the wrong way. Huh. Just went the wrong way. I'm gonna have to fight my red giants, aren't I? What is that way over there? Well, this is ass. He toted me. Out of my armor, girl. This stupid Naga thing. Quite the 
Now I'm dying as a toad. I'm dying as a toad. I can't use items unless it's the toad thing, I bet. Uh, here's toad. God damn it. Why you gotta ruin my armor, girl? I would sure love a summon. This one's just for you. I am going to put on some magic quadcast. Certainly didn't expect this much trouble. Let me get rid of this Naga. Can't see. Am I a toad again? Oh my god. Okay, I'm just gonna... What is the Moogle charm? Increases XP? Don't care right now. Let's be immune to toad. There's some confusion. Petrification. Toad. There it is. All right, Ig Iggy can use the thing. Day. It was so average. I think I like 13 and 1 and 2 over it. You know what? I do too. Kind of the same. It just ended up being very meh. Hey, like it looks cool. I can't fucking see. Oh, we're all petrified. Uh, can I use this? Oh, I can't. I can't use it. Oh, I got knocked out of it. Tried to do too much. Yeah, this game ended up being like feels like any game that gets stuck, stuck in development hell and is like being worked on for like 10 plus years just ends up being a little too I don't know it's surprising how half-baked it feels when it's had so much time oh thank god I just need to stay standing long enough to actually do the summit there we go. That, uh, I just, I still have high hopes for at least like the combat and stuff for Final Fantasy VII Remake. Cause it'll be their second attempt at doing this action combat. So I'm hoping it'll be a lot more refined. I really needed that. It was really just, I was just gonna end up eating a bunch of items. And the problem with this is that when she gets crazy, it's just so chaotic, you can't do anything. You, like you can't do anything. And like, you can't really tell what's going on. And that might look cool, but it just looks cool. So. Yeah. 
It just feels, the combat just feels a little more unresponsive than you want it to be. It doesn't feel snappy. Like, considering like, you can, like, phase around and fly around and point warp and do all this stuff and, like, fight midair, it doesn't feel snappy. It feels kind of leggy and floaty and... Spammy as well. Uh, I think this is the... Yeah, this is the one I want to take. Um, and when I just think of... Um, action combat, I'll think of a Tales game. And how good it is in a Tales game. And this is not... It, this is not the same. It's not even, re even remotely the same. Tales of Graces? I have not played Graces. Which one was Graces? Like, when abouts was Graces? people didn't like too much story wise until Zestria came. One that was originally on the Wii and they got a final version on PS3. Okay, I don't think I've actually I don't think I've ever even heard of Tales of Graces. But it's before Zestria, so I'll play any Tales game. I've played maybe half one right before Exilia 1? Okay. I went that way last time and that ended up being wrong. So... How do I get down this way? I assume that's the way I want to go. I'm going all out. Just get too carried away. Here on the dock. Never fear. Look to here. I'm winning! Brilliant. No big deal. What the fuck is it going? Played all the 3D Tales games now ever since the Gen DS. Sort of in the Tales of Heart are because, man, I wish they ported that out of the Vita. Considering Vesperia got a PC port, Heart getting a PC port might be more likely than I thought. Yeah, Vesperia is on my list because of the PC port. Um. Okay. Did it do that load thing because I'm going the right way? I feel like this is the way I'm supposed to go, right here. Oh, 
Oh, I was gonna be like, how do I fight a thing? <laughs> like, there's no buttons to push. What the fuck? Just straight up died. Yeah, he just straight up got clocked. It was insane. Just guns and no thunder. Okay. This is Bizarre Thundara. I do want to use magic here. So I will use... I'll use a heal cast. I don't remember. I think it's a uni. Ow! Alright. I'm also a little tired of the performance issues. I'll say that right now. I've done everything I can to improve it. And most of the time, it's good now. Except for right in this very moment for some reason. Apparently, it's just the Steam version as well. If you, if I bought it off of like Origin or something, this wouldn't be this wouldn't be happening. Well, I was holding the button. Knocked. I know. That was a close one. Too close for comfort. Yeah, that was harder than I would have thought. Just being alive. You didn't get a notification. I mean, Twitch screws that up all the time. That one had no sound. How are you doing today, Avarik? I also don't like that this is the default walk speed in dungeons. I'm all at full sprinting or doing this, and I don't, I don't get it. You're not getting enough sleep. I know how you feel. Let's move. Yeah. I've lived that life. Yo, that counter like one shot him. Onward. Hmm. Yep. Okay, I've gone. Okay. If I have to fight a giant fight every time I go back, I'm gonna be really annoyed. Like, I already hate this maze. Because I'm learning it's a legit maze now. they put a legit maze here. I wouldn't mind it so much if I didn't have to stand around waiting for giant blocks to slowly move. Why 
getting fucked by these things. Am I actually going the right way, though? Hold on. Is this new? This might be new. Like, if these were faster, or if they were just, like, smaller doors and I was moving... I don't know. This kind of sums up the whole game. Where it's like, they could have just done things a little bit faster to make the user experience more pleasant, and they just did it. They're like, what if... What if there's a three-second delay for every... For all, like, four pop-ups every time you finish a hunt? What if? I'm like, why? And you can't skip it. And just, like, sit down. Every time you go to drive at night, Ignis is like, are you sure? I think we should go back. Every time. It's not just once in a while. It's every single time. I don't want to be in this maze anymore. I think I'm at the end. Throw. Times. Enough talk. Time for some action. I don't want. Yeah, I'm hitting the wind button. To it. I was gonna save it for the presumably boss fight that's coming up soon, but nah. just use it now. Are we free? Wait, definitely never been here before. I'm amazed we made it out. <sighs> All right, take that labyrinth. Wouldn't start celebrating yet. We're not done here. You have got to be kidding me. I read the help this is just an elevator to the boss. Uh, guys? So freaking creepy. You guys hear that? No. What? What makes this place run? Did he just walk off? I know he's blind, but still. He has another black hole before us. I wonder what's ahead. Well, it's got lots of parts, so that makes it good for Mark. Hey, Lol. Oh, I'm petrified. I was like, why can't I move? I mean, somebody could use it on me, I guess. Gold needle. This is a mega potion situation right here. The leg on the cries of pain. Yeah. Uh, let's just mark. My intention is to like cycle through the weapons to figure out which one he's weak to. But uh, it's just not, it's not turning out. He's not strong just to uh, daggers. Okay, I'm going to put on uh, Petrificaria Shot. 
Petrification! I have two of these. Give Ignis the other one. What is this one? Imagine if I didn't have a press a button to like find out what the hell these do. Like there's obviously room here. It was moon? No, earth. All right, no one can use an item because everyone's petrified. At least we're invincible. Mr. Perry. Oh, he's weak to spears. Yeah, he is. There must be a point warp somewhere in here. Oh. Uh, I'm just gonna mega elixir. I have a lot of them. Oh. That was a one point eight. I was like right in his face. Chapter I mean, the story. I've uh, finished the story of this game. We are currently post game. There was some pretty cool, like, visual shit there. I will say. The story itself is not told very well, so. Just move on to second chapter. That, that's why I'm like. I can move on at any point, but I did want to like check out some of the dungeons. I only need two more royal arms, and apparently get like a royal armor girl, and I kind of want to see that. So yeah, we might see the, the whole Royal Armager thing today, depending on how long the next dungeon takes. I'm assuming it's in the dungeon that's like really close to this one. Win button! Oh, I was gonna chain. I was literally about to chain. Be the trio, tree, the trio, the GU trilogy. By the way, it was fun. The dungeons were a bit uncharismatic, but it was fun. Yeah, the dungeons are—they're old-style dungeons, but goddamn, it's a good, it's a good, it's a good trilogy. I loved GU. 
Oh, he straight up had the royal arm. It's not even in a tomb. That's game. Well, all right then. That's it. What's up, Iggy? I've come up with a new recipe. Recipe. That's a pretty try. good one, actually. It was behind my face. It was level 60 HP boost and level 40 uh. attack boost. That's pretty good. Ovon was on, on some 900 IQ shit with the whole game. Everything worked out as he intended. Yeah, Ovon. Ovon's a boss. Also a dipshit for like being just like, I'm gonna tell you nothing. And then I'm going to tell you everything. And then I'm not gonna tell the main character what he wants to know afterwards. I was just like, you fucking asshole. I can probably just, I don't actually have to ride this back out. I can just leave, right? I can just hit a button and leave. Yeah. Let's get the fuck out of here. <sighs> That's better. He did save the world. Yeah, he did save the world. I'm debating on going to the hotel now and leveling up. I remember the there's another dungeon like Roy down here. It might be this. It'd be funny if it was this. I think it's a, I think it's down this way though. Uh, I think I do want to... Um, I think I'll just go back to the hotel now. <laughs> Sakaki? Yeah, I do. I vaguely remember Sakaki. Um, let's auto to the key. We fast traveling because it's nighttime. Although I could have just manually drove and just dr I still have yet to actually drive through an enemy with my uh, Type D regalia. I have yet to do that. That could be fun. It's Curious to see how much damage it does. Nice. And yet, by all accounts, it pales in comparison to old Tisha. Seriously? I have one day left. I'll rent the truck on my, on my way out. How much money do I have? Nothing. I have no money. First, I was like, why is this? Dude, such an insufferable god complex asshole. And I was like, oh yeah, because he's a fucking 12 year squeaker. Is this character, like in real life, actually 12 years old? I don't I don't remember that detail. Cause that would that would make sense for Sakaki. Will you be staying the night with us? Yeah, is, is real persons. I don't have enough kill. Fuck. Next time. <laughs> Thick. Can I just sell stuff to you? Welcome back. I don't remember if I can sell stuff to you. What do you feel like having today? Uh, Anything catch your eye? These all suck. I'm sure they're delicious, but they all suck. Fee. Thank you for your patronage. Do I have to run all the way back for a shop? Eek. I don't know if it was in the original, but the remake has these streaming videos following the streamer trying to figure out what's going on outside of the game. You actually see the real life Sakaki. I, yeah, I don't remember that in the original. Or maybe. I remember seeing like news reports of a report of a reporter trying to figure it out. And like watching those and watching like videos of news reports. Or something like that. How can I help you today? I don't want to buy. I want to sell. I could just sell some of my mega elixirs, but I definitely have a lot of these that I don't need. 
Thank you kindly. Still keeping one of everything. Online Jack? I do remember Online Jack, yeah. Is that is that who you're talking about? So that was in the original if, it's, if you're talking about Online Jack. I just remember remembered him I remember thinking he was like a reporter. Or something. He was the one that controlled the other kids attacking the teacher. All right. Will you be staying the night with us? We could crash right here. Ditto. Alright. 100,000 XP. How many levels? 200,000 XP, excuse me. Those are solid seven levels. That's a good photo. There's no point in saving these anymore, really. I was surprised I didn't have any of Cindy, so I'll take that just because Cindy's in it. in it. Hey, isn't that... Isn't what what? Just my imagination. Oh, that means Carbuncle's in here somewhere. <laughs> Not that we'll ever fucking see. Man, this place was crawling with nasty. It's a good photo of one of those things. I'll keep that. We ought to hold on to this one. Why not? Kentiana's back. Is she? Uh, struggle to remember. We'll go get those. I feel like as long as you chill with this game, you're okay with its pace. But if you're like, gotta get done, gotta get done, gotta get all the shit done, you're gonna end up hating it. You just kind of relax, enjoy the music, and the sunlight, the fact that you're poor as fuck. It's not. That's not bad. Still gonna fast travel though. We've gone back and forth on this specific road like six times without fast traveling. I think we're good. We are good. But remind me, next time it's nighttime, remind me to just drive manually so I can just, like... No, I don't even need to wait till nighttime. I can just go off-road. I want to see how much damage I do when I just drive into an enemy. So what's next? Ask around a little? It's up to Noct.
Here she is, your weapon reborn. Great, appreciate it. Gotta say, that's a right old piece you managed to find. Must have been 30 odd years ago. Finding the right tools Ultima for Blade. these relics took it out of me. Sorry to hear. Ah, but while I was rummaging through my stuff, an interesting item turned up. Go on, take it. What is it? A little something I'd loaned to your old man during our trip way back when. Reggie loved it so much he'd find every chance he could to help me out with it. But when it came time for him to give it back, he scratched some nonsense into it. Nonsense? Always irked me, so it's fitting I dump it on the sun. War of the Horrors is on you early access? Ever? And a story to go with it. Not a bad deal if you ask me. An unexpected side of his majesty. Yeah, it is. Yeah, I also got an Ultima Blade. Oh, that's the upgraded weapon. That's got a good attack on it. And absorbs elemental power. That's not bad. Uh, we also got a thing. Sid's old hammer. Property of Mr. Hammer proof thick skull. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with this this thing, but sure. There y'all are. Get ready to be blown away. Have I checked out the Fate Heavens movie yet? No, I have not. Done took your sweet time. Here. Completely forgot. And now I've started watching The Expanse, and that's taking up all my watching time. Oh, my aching back. If y'all are having car trouble, Cindy's your girl. Thank your lucky stars, because I whipped up something real special. Uh, I was just going to check and see if there was another thing. What are y'all after? What do you fix in to upgrade? All right, let's keep it clean. How's this? Y'all just sit tight now. Fixed her up real nice. All right. Um. Yeah, I still need. Oh, that needs curl whiskers. Yeah, I don't care enough. Um, so yeah, so the dungeon is around here. I think I'll just fast travel to this. What? God damn it. I don't know what it's called. This one. And that'll just choke a bow. And wander around. Rarely ever do post games unless really like a game. Or if there's story bits hidden in the post dungeon. Like for Tales of Berseria and Resonance of Fate. Yeah. I actually don't remember post game Resonance of Fate. Everything in order. Yep. I'm sure I did right it. You. That was so long ago. Post game Resonance of Fate. I had to play that game twice because the story. Uh, the story is told between the lines in that game. It's done. It's. <laughs> I remember scenes where they're like talking about a bottle of of whiskey, but it's not really about the bottle of whiskey. It's the metaphor of the bottle of Let's whiskey go. applying to a person they were talking about before they were talking about the whiskey, etc. It's just, I love the game. It was a great game. Combat was interesting. The gun modification was crazy and bullshit, and I loved it. Um, it was funny, like legitimately funny. It was one of the first games that I think I played where I actually like laughed out loud. Um, 
Like from the game. Like I laugh out loud when I do dumb shit. I laugh at myself. But the game itself doesn't make me laugh. Games themselves don't make me laugh much. But that one did. Uh, let's check out this. Resonance of Fate was great, but the, the, it was really hard to like really know what was going on in the story. I ended up having to read guides and like check out things because like I don't fucking know what's happening. <laughs> Like, I know what's happening, I just don't know why it's happening. Oh, this is the... Oh, I didn't even check out my new weapon. We'll meet again. <sighs> Tomb robbery. Okay, well, I, I just got this weapon, so... That's cool. Huh. Uh, weapon... Mm, sort of the tall. It's got a really high attack. That's a great sword. I won't like it because it's a great sword. I'm sure it, it definitely does a shit ton of damage. But I'm not a fan of that. I really wonder why Trias didn't just stick with those models instead of using their normal Star Wars models. I have no idea. Huh? It was a good game regardless. Easy now. Okay, well I saw what this is. Let's just let's just see what this is and then just go down there afterwards. Bam, 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 bam. I remember going into the final boss at 70 and going all right, going and then the final head. boss rolled in at level 170, and my jaw just dropped. Yeah, the I think I was pretty. I think I was like 150 or something when I got there. I ended up doing the like the entire arena before finishing the game, so that leveled me up pretty high. I was that person, I'm like, I gotta do all the side stuff before I finish the main game. So, I did. I did the entire arena. I think I got, I think I like 100% of that game. As far as I know. I may have like the platinum trophy for it and everything. I had more free time back then as well. So. I mean, realistically, I guess I have the same amount of free time now, but. Oh, man. My arms are. Watch your right. Got it. Oh. Can't, I can't do the thing because there's an enemy. Stupid Gigan Toad. Why would I kill you with an Ultima Blade? The hunt is on. Got it. Those Imperials just want to say that. What? Imperials? Oh. They get magic to death. This sounds like you're having fun. Oh, is it just a single dude? Oh, if it's just a single mech, I'm not gonna magic this. <laughs> I fucking warp striked him once and he fell over. It used to be an under level in the combat system and the game was so well balanced in a weird way that you can really challenge bosses while hiring you. The final sequence was like the first boss, like around 80 something, and I was like, alright, that's quite standard. And the next one up to 120s. And then the final boss happened. Yeah, but it was a, it was a good uh, combat system for that. Like, there was enough room for skill to overcome any kind of stat advantage. So that's it. What's cool. up, Biggie? I've come up with a new recipe. Is this the first well, time I found garlic? I can taste this for you. Mm. 
mean, you'd think I would have found garlic before, but sure. Garlic's pretty common. Okay. I either need to go way around this way and come back, or I need to go up this way and come back this way. It's basically how quickly can your mind operate to make a triangle. Let's go. It was. It was really hard for me to figure out at first. I remember struggling a lot in like the first, in the first bosses because I didn't have a hang. I didn't quite figure out how to do the combat with the whole like, um, the like running action yeah. sequence stuff and whatnot. It was easy to snowball into death though. I remember that. Like when you lost your crystals at the bottom. Like when you start losing them once and everyone's like freaking out, the music goes, goes all uh, scary. It was easy to snowball into death, I remember that. What, can I not jump over this? Where's the damn sun? Yeah. Hold on, I'll just follow the road up a little bit. I must have read the tutorial, so spent an hour dying in the first dungeon. I I may have done that too. It was it's it's definitely confusing at first. But it is a system that allows for skill, which is nice. That's why I have like Tales games as well, because those allow for a degree of skill. I could have sworn. My Chocobo was level 8, not level 7. Hmm. Can you get Resonance of Fate for PS4? I don't know. I've never heard of any re-releases for that game. A dreary day. Yeah. There might be a digital version on the store. That you can just play on your PS4. There's a PC release for it. Thanks for the ride. Ah, oh, thanks, buddy. Oh, I didn't know there was a re-release re for it. I suppose it, may it was good enough for it. So. Okay, this is definitely the way. I think I got a pebble in my shoe. Take it out. Yeah. Easy now. I remember the world map for that game was also really Frappy weather. cool yeah. and unique. Like I had like that weird like hex Tetris Aww, thing. Thanks, buddy. And also the world was in a tower. So that was kind of neat. Do we have to risk our lives just to make a living? When you put it that way. So what? You want to wait for the treasure to find us? Who invited them? Gotcha! Ignis! Don't be late. I'm not waiting for that. Ready for pain. Yeah. Get ready to finish it. Out of the way. 
That was a ton of damage. Holy shit. Price has a lot of great ideas, but sometimes they don't really fall through well. This infinite Undiscovery had some really cool concepts, and the fall through was unsatisfactory as far as the lore was concerned. The characters themselves were fine. I've never even heard of that one, so. But I was definitely a big uh, tri fanboy for a good while. And then I just kind of forgot about them, and then newer Star Oceans started being kind of crappy. And then I haven't really heard anything about them since. Anybody see any rare, valuable stuff lying around? I don't think that's how this works. All right, let's make some stuff. I also have enough AP to like. Make, do something. Upgrade, upgrade things. Upgrade things cool like. Um, do I want a Unicat? No, I got two Unicats currently. Let's do some sort of dual thing. Let's do a try cast. It was an Xbox 360 game that you can play on the Xbones. It's backwards compatible. It's the first time they might be able to crawl through here. Use uh, Star sure Ocean four or five engine guy. models. It was when Xbox was trying to break into the Japanese market after an initial fuck up and it never worked. Well, I anything? see. I'm really not sure what you're expecting. Maybe you can find it yourself. I like this dungeon so far because it doesn't have a maze in it. Does that make me a bad person? This Ultima Sword does a decent amount of damage on its own. Oh, I'm not. I'm using the Sword of the Father. Derp. Ultima Blade's still... Actually, Ultima Blade's about the same. Oh, am I confused? Oh, I'm confused. <laughs> There's something up above. I'm scaffolding in a ladder. Dungeon Crawler might not be your thing. Who indeed? I like a good Dungeon Crawler when that's, like, the focus of the game. importantly, did they leave any loot behind? No way of telling from down here. Let's press on. It's mostly when non-Dungeon Crawly games try to be Dungeon Crawly briefly, and you're just like... Yeah. But you just, it's just Studio, shitty though. Note the high I was actually thinking Sunlight of replaying this old game. Us, oh. just a light. Sunlight. They, they need to shut up for a sec. An old P yeah, I can see it on my shelf. It's an old PS2 game. The Nightmare of Druaga. For some reason, I really wanted to play that the other day. You won't find a demon lair with but my PS2 is broken. So, we hope. so, my PS2 games just sit on a shelf gathering dust. I like Shin Megami Tensei, maybe. Yeah, it, when it comes to dungeon crawlers, it has to be like a dungeon crawler game because they know how to make it fun. A lot of non percentage Shin Megami Tensei games are just ad steps going. How much can we fuck the players in a maze? I swear they feast on our tears. I do like, like, I do like PS1 era dungeon design where it's like actual dungeons that are a bit maze like and there's puzzles and stuff. I've always loved going through those. Sadly, they don't make dungeons like they used to. 
even newer games, they just don't. Like, it's pretty rare. You can just download a PS3 emulator and pop a disc in your computer. You think I have a disc drive? That's cute. You do bring up a good point, though. I could just emulate it, and, like, it's still perfectly legal for me to emulate it because I have the game right over there. That's, that's the legal point of... of have you, do, I have, do you have an all-in-one or something? Maybe? Nowadays, it's, it's more off pure dungeon crawling versus straightforward simple dungeon. Legendary of Dragog. Dragog is pretty decent. Yeah, it was pretty decent. I never got very far into it. But. It was pretty decent. Two choices. This way or this way. Which way? One, two way in. What do you say, your majesty? I say, no way. I'm letting you blame me for picking the wrong path. <gasps> I would never. See that? Yeah, I'd say that pool is due for cleaning. Oh, I don't feel so good. Any idea what it is, Ignis? No, but it appears toxic, so I wouldn't recommend sticking around to find out. See ya! But I guess maybe I do have an all-in-one PC, because when I bought it, like Windows is already installed on it, so I didn't actually need I didn't need to like pop in a disc to install Windows. So I don't actually have a disk drive. I used to re I used to be like I can't live without a disk drive, but I have not used a CD, any kind of CD-ROM or DVD in a computer in like ten plus years. So, and I've never had to either. There's very rare times where it's actually been a thing. It's one of the reasons why I have kept my old laptop because it does have a CD drive in it. It's the only thing I have left, and it's like a twelve-year-old laptop. But yeah. Is the monitor attached to the computer itself? No? What, is it, what does that have to do with the disk drive? Now I'm confused. What does that have to do with my monitor? I what you mean by all in one? No, I have a tower. It just doesn't have a disk drive in it. We sure do spend a lot of time underground. But yeah, uh, but oh, this is this. the entrance. Have I mentioned I'm? Um Claustrophobic. Who isn't? I've made tighter squeezes. Just gotta push through. For all the times where I'm like, they take too much time to like do the things and go through the things with the menus. Whenever they're having a conversation, they're talking way too fast. Like there's like no time in between each line that the conversation doesn't flow naturally because they're talking too fast. It's like they can't figure out the right pacing for anything. So where the hell? Why am I alone? At least the bromance is good. That's true. It's very good. Let's do this. Get 
But yeah, I could just emulate any of my PS2 games and it's still legal. So I could consider some of those on the list. There's definitely some PS2 games I have not finished. Or or even started. That I've owned for over 10 years. Luna got snubbed in this game. I wonder if it was planned. You far as this or if it just ended up being us. like that. Better throw it in reverse. She should have had a bigger role. Yeah. I think it was planned from the start because it was clear their focus is on these four boys. Oh, you can go fishing here. Well, not doing that. Um, the few times she was on screen, she was a boss. Like the whole scene with her and Leviathan was so awesome. Nothing to it. All in a day's work. She was a good balance of like gentle and kind and also just being stern and willful. It's like she knew what she needed to do, slash wanted to do. And if shit was getting in her way, she did not give a fuck. She was doing it. I was gonna use uh, some of my AP. I got a lot of AP to use. Keep forgetting. Okay, I'm using it now. I have 248. I mean, that's pretty cheap. I should probably have that anyway. Uh, increase warp strike damage. I could. I never get to blindside enough. There's all these moves for sword and pole arm specifically and nothing else. I don't know why. What? You can take control of your teammates? What the fuck? LBLT. Were these in here the whole time? I grab a sphere, why not? And I suffer damage. The tech bar goes up pretty quick. I think this is specifically when people help each other out. They never help me. I don't know if I'm gonna do those. Magic. Extra 30 potency might be good. I don't have enough for that. Enhance magic by three times? Nah. Absorb even more? Nah. Armager. I do like the armor gear. Gain unlimited MP temporarily afterwards. Don't need that. Boost experience. Meh. Weight mode. Meh. Exploration. I don't think they're in the initial release, but they've probably been there since you started. Yeah, there's a lot of things I have not noticed. The XP bonus for the car it was like 10, so this is not worth it. I think it's probably the same. Dead meals after camp. 
Double items from fishing. Experience for fishing. Occasionally receive double items. That might be okay. Everything here is three, 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 three. More teamwork, if I can afford it. Up to things. I should probably go with the heal thing. Link strike. Link strike has almost never happened. It does so much damage. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get this. And should probably do like this. And this. I don't know if I have any cheap ones left. Maybe in techniques. <laughs> Fucking one point away. Oh yeah, changing to them costs like 20. If I wanted to change to any one of them, it would probably be Gladio? Whatever, fuck it. It's probably a Royal Edition thing. Why do I have a marker on the map? What the fuck? Well, I can't take it off now. Probably, uh... Well, this is only level 28. For some reason, I assumed this would be a higher level than the last dungeon I was just in. Because, like, the first monster I encountered was a level 41 necromancer. I'm convinced Ronins have no blind side. What the fuck? That must have like a uh, have like a KO chance on it. The fuck was that? All right. Wait. Did we come from that way or that way? Uh. Have the power of anime. Are we lost again? Not lost. Merely misplaced. Uh, pressing all the wrong buttons. Uh. I'm still going the right. Yeah, I'm going going a way. Me much further. Really better, because there ain't no way I'm carrying you. Uh, better be a shortcut back. Oh, there's a Ronin in here as well. Did not see that one. On your mark. I only have one arm left, right? Yeah, there's only one armager left hey, to get. We actually made it up here. I'm assuming it's in here. Never doubted you for a second. Not. Check the ladder. Could do ourselves a but. favor. Lower it down. <laughs> Would make life easier for next time. <laughs> It'll make life easier. It's like we're going the long way around. Is 
dungeons are too dark. It's even aesthetic or scary, just annoying. Yeah, they failed. They tried for the horror and they failed, basically. Like, it's not. It's not scary. There's that entire chapter where it's like suddenly in the game is a zombie survival. And you're by yourself and Arden's just like taunting you from the from the shadows. Even then, like what's so like it's still not it's not scary. Like, I can see what they were going for. They wanted you to have, like, a sense of awe and wonder and, like, the things are big and scary. So you need to be, like, careful. But, wait. Did they lower it after I ran away? Oh, whatever. <laughs> Jump, jump scares. I think one jump scare got to me. But jump scares are cheap in general, so. Ah, oh. Have I mentioned I'm acrophobic? Don't fear heights, fear falling. Thank you, Iggy. Could have put in some glow in the dark plants, so then you would have nice contrast between fantastical lights and darkness. But working around that dynamic, they can actually make it awe-inspiring. Yeah, and they mostly just went with, it's dark and you have a flashlight. So, that's it? We're done here? As far as we can see. Go. I got it. The downside of the wait timer is I can't stand here waiting to see it like pop up. Pretty sure it's a it's just a regular giant, so it'd be shields and shit. You can still keep some parts of the dungeon really dark. In fact, they'll just sit on the darkness. Yeah. Lost opportunity, really. Oh, the Necromancer. level mark is now. It must be close to max. I used it a ton. Oh, I missed the button. Why well, I gotta miss the button? Okay, that's not it. The end of the dungeon was not was an iron giant? Hold the fucking phone. What about this thing? Is there even like a thing to crawl up? I'm going. I'm gonna quickly investigate the end of this. Where's the citadel? Uh, that's in the capital city. That's where the end of the game is.
Yeah, I'm post game, so. The current quest marker is just like the last quest. Main story quest. No, there's definitely more. I think I could point, uh, point warp. How do I... How do I? Cut! Hmm. <clears throat> Thought there was another set of knowledge and complete all the post game stuff, barely. Yeah, no, it's just a regular game. Don't worry about it. Where am I? What's this place called? Doral Caverns? Let's just look it up. Okay. 15. Doral Caverns. Location had a clear. So I get to see a full map. Head up the slope, confront the Iron Giant. Speak to whatever. Was everyone standing toward the exit? What? Hold on. There's more to this dungeon. It even shows it on the goddamn map. I mean, based on the map, it just leads to one of the, like, menace dungeons that I don't even have the key for yet, so. It doesn't seem like there's a royal arm here. Don't family Euro gamer. Okay, hold okay, okay, okay. FF fifteen Dungeons. There's a full list. Okay, I should have just like, I should just go back to that Reddit post, because there's a Reddit post that's like, here's everything you could possibly do in the entire game. And it's actually really good. It's got some really good links. Okay. Okay, the only one I haven't done is Crest Home Channels, then. Royal arm locations, because I do want to find that last royal arm. Oh my fucking turn off ad blogger, you can't use their site. God damn it. I'm just gonna pause it super quick. Went from one maze not knowing where to go to another non-maze not knowing where to go. Yeah. I still don't know how to get up there. It's definitely possible. Maybe it becomes possible once I have the key.
Wait, the article just ends halfway. Well, this is like a next. This is a garbage site. I'm leaving the site. I'm just gonna find that Reddit post. I think it was FF15, like post game. Post game. The true complete ending end game checklist. That's what it was. Uh, da, 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 da. Got some real good links in here. They're all menace dungeons. Acquire all royal arms. That's what I want to do. Alright. Close all these pointless tabs. Mace of the Fierce? I gotta look at the list of what I have. Okay. We have Sword of the Wise, Axe of the Conqueror. Sword of the Tall, got that today. Sword of the Wanderer, got that. There isn't just a simple walkthrough. I mean, there's walkthroughs for every little bit, but no one's made like a super comprehensive. Walkthroughs these days are shit. They're not as good as they used to be. You used to have like this one long like text thing. It's like, here's everything. And here's codes to like control F to find what you want. That doesn't exist anymore. Scepter of the Pious, Bow of the Clever. I do have Bow of the Clever. Star of the Rogue, yes. Shield of the Just. I do not have a shield. Okay, it's gotta be this one. We found in the Tomb of the Just. Just gonna make sure that's the right one. Katana of the Warrior. Yeah. Trident of the Oracle, yeah. Sword of the Father, yeah. Okay. Tomb of the Just, where the fuck is that? Okay, locations of all dungeons. Tomb of the Just. Why did that not show up on my on the other other map that I saw? Maybe it's not in maybe it's not in a dungeon, it's just I can just go and get it. Maybe that's why. It's just not in a dungeon. Alright, well that just leads to a menace dungeon. No, not title, hold on. No, no, just return to entrance. I'm all flustered. <sighs> I'm I assumed it was inside a dungeon. Because, like, most of them have been. It's just, like, there. Maybe it's that right there. Oh, it's definitely that right there. Alright. Uh, let's just drive there. I'm gonna manually do it. There is like a good third of this place I've just never been. So, because you never need to. It's nighttime. I'm manually driving and I'm gonna drive straight into the enemies. Ready I don't care if they spawn. Robot. Born ready. Okay. However. Yeah, I need a map. <laughs> Okay, turn around, and then turn right, and then turn left, and then just follow this for a while, and then turn left. Okay. Where is your sense of explorations for shrubs that look exactly the same? Whatever do you mean? I want to go this way. Back on to Final Fantasy One. Oh, this is like re release. Yo, this car is pretty fast now. Somebody help me! 
No. No. Hey. No. You guys hear something? I don't care if it's sure cool. Did. Sounded like somebody calling for help. No. Have a look around. No. No. <laughs> as soon as I heard the crossover music for Final Fantasy 14, I was like, no. It could be great. A lot of Final Fantasy 14 crossover stuff had in, me in many games has been great. Don't care. We're getting this royal arm. I thought it was a quick, like, I'm stranded, even though it's in an outpost. Or it's like, I need a potion. The bully of Lollafell? Am I a bully of Lollafell? I don't think I'm a bully. I'm surprised nothing spawned. There is a trail to my left, I don't care. I did quests to get this truck. Them all. I have them all. I do remember being told about like the royal armager where it's like the armager gets powered up where you have to get them all and then you have to do something and then you unlock it or whatnot. But I mostly just wanted to get them all because I only needed like one or two more. We did it! Um, look how much I've not explored. <laughs> look at all this. All this. I could go kill. I I can probably kill Mid Midgard Summer. Probably could. The sound went for weird for me again. If it went weird weird for you, just let me know. Um, I'm gonna go see if I can kill my guard somewhere. I'm the appropriate level for that. Here we go. Seat belts, everyone. Um, that was there. Why can't I mark? I want to mark. weird uh I mean I have to manually drive I mean I'll just manually drive it's like like a minute to get there I have yet to actually drive. You know what? I'm gonna drive right into Midgard Summer. That's what I'm gonna do. Oh, uh, 
I'm getting this car down there, and I'm gonna drive my ass straight into that serpent's face. Don't take that out of context. Goddamn bushes! Hmm. Probably should have just stuck to the road. Uh. Oh no, I still want to go north anyway. So far, fancy too. <laughs> Wait, I don't have six. do. <laughs> Alright. We're fine. We lost 2% durability. We're fine. That's not bad. 4,000. Can I go in the water? Whoa. Oh. Where do you think you're going? This is awkward. I'm getting to my guard somewhere. Somehow, with this car. It ain't, it ain't this way, though. Unless... Why am I not reversing? Okay. Just go fast enough. In the right direction. Yeah. Whoa. Where do you think you're going? All right. Fuck you too, Gabe. Why give me a jumping truck if you won't let me jump things? Oh, oh, oh. I 
I'm gonna get back on the road. I don't know how. Or where. Why do most of the roads in this game do this? They're like so much higher than the terrain around them. Oh my God, I can't even like get in the direction of the road. Yeah, I can't even get back on. I gotta go way the fuck over here. Oh! On the upside, I still have 91%. My god. God damn it, I was changing the song. I wonder if I'm just gonna... I wonder if I can even allow... I wonder if the game will even allow having the car jump down there. Because I can't conceive of a way to get the car back up. I feel like I'd have to tow it. The time is nigh. I see you. What? Big, <laughs> big jumps made are scored based on several factors. Uh, I've lost control. Did I land somewhere I can't be? All right. Whoa. It's just gonna teleport me back up every time, isn't it? Fine. Fine game. Everybody out. Actually, if I'm gonna if I'm gonna go fight McGuard somewhere, I should probably have a food buff. Is there a camp? There's a camp there. I'd rather do a camp buff. No 
roads, no rules. And no one to hold us back. Everybody out. Aye, aye. Taking a walk on the wild side? Nothing like nature in the middle of nowhere. Okay. We're here. We are camping. Again. Well, you got a problem with camping? That's the Jabberwock. That's pretty good. Attack plus 400. 3,000 HP. Probably just gonna go with this. I really boost the bird's galloping speed? Sure. sort of way. Is that Laura Croft? Why is Laura Croft f photo bombing? I'm saving this. Hey Big Booby, how you doing? Man, this place was crawling with nasties. Look at them. Dungeons. That's boss. Come now, it's nothing special. What, Gladio's crotch? It's very special. What are you talking about? Well taken. I suppose it's a nice landscape shot, why not? Good to go. Just about awake. Okay, should I follow the road? It's probably easier to follow the road. I guess it doesn't matter. <laughs> Yo, this 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 speed though. Pretty good. Oh, is there a freaking wall here? Do I have to go up and around? Yeah. Are you fucking kidding me? Oh god. I don't actually want to do this. Please. Please don't. Oh 
All right, we did it. This is what we're heading into. Combat. Everybody out. <sighs> Let's go. I almost can't handle this extra speed. Hello. Thanks for the ride. What's your week to? I'm back. Swords? Perfect. Swords and dual blades. And ice. Ice, ice, baby. I think we're gonna kick its ass. That ass he rained though was pretty nasty. Dang. Mark's really good on big enemies. I wasn't expecting to get that many points off, but... Broke him! This isn't any of being really easy. I was expecting that to actually be a fight, because it's like I'm level like 58. It's level 54. It me, but this is totally like King's Knight. Uh-huh. There's four of us, just like in the game. Well then I gotta be a five-star character. Hell no. Fuck off with if your gotcha talk. Is rare, it's me. Well, that ended up being anticlimactic. All that effort just to like destroy it in like 20 seconds. Well. There is one more dungeon here, like a normal dungeon here. There's hunts everywhere. What if I just like... Stopped playing this game? I feel like I'm done. I'm not... Not enjoying it, like I'm enjoying it enough to play it, but I'm not enjoying it enough to want to keep playing it, if that makes sense. I feel like I'm done. I don't really have any desire to, like... I definitely don't, like, want to do any of these quests. Um... Some of the hunts are fun. There's the Adamantois fight, but that's just, like... Boring. I'm sure, like, the Menace Dungeons are fun, but I don't even remember how to get into them. Go, go start the second chapter. Here's what I was thinking of doing. 
We'll start second chapter tomorrow, but now I'll just play a little bit of Wolsid. Because I... I feel like if I had nothing else to play, I would keep playing this. But I have so much to play that I actually want to play. That, you know, I think I'm good. Solid 40 hours. Well, I think, I think it's done. I think we're done. 